For more reaction uh, from today's crypto conference, let's bring in CoinMetric co-founder and Castle Island Ventures partner Nick Carter, who gave a presentation at today's conference on how institutions can embrace Bitcoin. Nick, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. As a crypto insider, what got you most excited about this talk? Well, the talk I gave pertained to Bitcoin's energy consumption, which has been enormously in the news lately and, of course, has been one of Elon's issues with uh, you know, the asset. And it was discussed today during his own panel. And the point I was really laying out was simply the fundamentals are getting better in terms of uh, the sustainability of Bitcoin. So when Elon Musk is concerned about the environmental aspect and he says that likely Tesla will accept Bitcoin as payment at some point in terms, you know, from the environmental standpoint, since that was the primary reason why he stopped it in the first place, when do you think that resolves itself to the point where he might start doing it? Well, what he said today was cause for optimism for sure. And I'm glad that he has begun to evaluate the facts on the ground because they're very favorable. Uh, we're, you know, China turned off Bitcoin mining, they effectively banned it. And that Chinese hash rate was very much influenced by energy produced by coal. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the new hash rate, uh, some of those miners are relocating, uh, some of them will never come back online. A lot of that's being replaced by mining in Canada and the US, where miners are much more sustainably focused. We're also seeing a lot more disclosure from miners. 32% of hash rate joined a council, Bitcoin mining council, and they've produced quarterly disclosures now. Uh, and within that sample, uh, the miners were 67% renewable or nuclear powered. So the miners that are disclosing, and a lot of these are Western miners that are exposed to Western capital markets, are you know, disproportionately sustainable in their operations. So all Elon had to do was look at the ground truth. And you know, it seems like he's changing his tone now. Yeah, I mean, in the span in which he said that he would he had concerns and he was going to stop accepting Bitcoin as payment, Bitcoin did turn off the mining. And so I'm wondering how how um, how much greener did mining become when China banned it? We're not going to know for sure until we can pinpoint where uh, some of this hash rate is migrating to. On the one hand, it may go to Kazakhstan, which has a carbon intense grid, or it might go to the U.S. We know it's lots of new hash rate is being on short in the US, it may go to Canada, which has a low carbon intensity grid, it might go to hydro in Russia, or other places that we haven't thought of. So it's going to be a matter of months before we can actually determine where those miners are going. But regardless, we know for a fact, there's all these publicly traded miners raising capital in the US, getting deliveries of new ASICs. And those miners by and large are seeking out sustainable energy. They're, some of them are buying carbon offsets. They're much more pro sustainability than the largely anonymous Chinese miners that we had before. What's your guess uh, in terms of, of Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin becoming green enough for Tesla to start again? I mean, you said a matter of months. Do you think, you think you know, accepting it as payment follows shortly afterwards? Well, it's an arbitrary <laughs> threshold kind of imposed by Elon himself. So I can't know what he's thinking exactly. Of course, I think Bitcoin is perfectly suitable for payments today. And of course, the environmental costs are offset by its enormous utility. Uh, so any amount of uh, carbon intensity would be sufficient to warrant accepting Bitcoin in payments, in my it view. Sounds, it sounds like, though, you think that in a matter of months, the, the greenness, if you will, of Bitcoin will increase astronomically just because it's going to be relocated most likely to areas that use less carbon intensive um, power to, to power it. Right now, I'd say we're in a wait and see mode. I'm very okay. optimistic. The data we have is good, uh, for sure, in terms of sustainability, but it is just gonna be a matter of seeing where those miners do actually end up locating themselves, for sure. Nick, great to have you with us. Thank you. My pleasure, thank you.